Hello, my name is Volker and today I would like to show you how to make wholemeal vegetable pizza. So let's have a look what we need. Vegetable oil, preferably olive oil. This is used to grease the baking dish. Wholemeal flour, make sure it's wholemeal, not reconstituted or anything else. Yeast, sliced tomatoes, in this case I use cherry tomatoes because I had them in the garden. One small chopped onion. Mushrooms. These are out of the tin. Keep the water. We will use that later for making the dough. Half a fresh red paprika, finely chopped. Some olives. These are the stuffed variety, also out of a jar. And, of course, to top it off, cheese. I use tasty cheddar cheese, but any good melting cheese will do. So these are our ingredients. And for spices, you need salt, paprika powder, oregano, or basil, or both if you like. Okay, let's start with our dough. First, we add some of the water of the mushrooms which we saved earlier. Then we add some salt. Then we add our flour. This is about 250 grams. Then we add our yeast. Now we grease our pizza plate with some olive oil. This should prevent the dough from sticking. Now we will mix the dough, adding flour or water as we need it. Wholemeal flour behaves a little bit different than plain flour or industrial flour. Wholemeal flour needs more water and it stays less flexible. So I'm adding a little bit of flour so I can knead the dough without getting stuck. This is already getting a nice consistency. I'm trying to have the outside a little bit dry and powdery whilst I keep the inside of the dough moist and flexible. So, just a little bit more flour, stop it from sticking, and that's pretty much it. Now we take the dough and put it on our pizza base. Okay, here we go. So this is our pizza base. Now we start filling it. First we add our tomatoes.
Next are the onions. Then the mushrooms. I probably have more ingredients than I need. So I might keep some and make a soup or something else. Okay, that's enough mushroom. Then we add the chopped paprika. Some olives. You can also chop the olives. It's quite good. This is a small pizza. So chopping it is actually a good thing. But I like a lot of ingredients so the more the better and of course on top is our cheese This is a one person pizza. So the ingredients are really enough for three. But again, I like a lot of ingredients and I'm going to like it. Now, on top of that, we put some oregano. And some ground paprika. And now it's ready for the oven. Now I put the pizza in the oven and let the dough rise for about 30 to 40 minutes at about 40 degrees centigrade. Then I turn the oven on to about 250 degrees. Okay, about 30 minutes have passed and here it is. Hold your pizza for one.